Yeah. In a capitalist system, property rights are important, and then I'm using the euphemism. Yeah. Um, I've got a moral dilemma. Okay. Uh, property rights are important. Yes. But when you have a person who gets his self-esteem and self-worth from cheating and stealing from others, yep. uh, and the law says you can't cheat or you can't steal, yep. Yep. Uh, is it moral to get into prison? Yes, absolutely. So, first of all, uh, he, there's something wrong with this person. He's abnormal. Uh, he, he's, he's, he's sick in some way. Anybody who gets... No, it, he's not being selfish. And I, and I explain why being selfish is primarily being rational. And being rational means that lying, stealing, and cheating does not provide self-esteem. Does not. And you, you can read up in psychology. No, this is, this is not hypothetical. When you read about uh, uh, psychopaths, people who lie, steal, and cheat and don't care, right, because they have no what people call consciousness. They are miserable. They are haters. They don't enjoy life. There's no eudemonia. There's no flourishing. There's no happiness. They're miserable, pathetic human beings. Now, in the movies, we can create romanticized villains. There are no romantic villains in real life. Villains are ugly, miserable, sad human beings. That's because that's how we're built. That's the nature of how human beings function. It's because we rely on reason. And if you don't believe me, try it sometime. And it has, it's, it's A is A. This is the impact it has. So now there are people who are sick. There are people who enjoy, you'll get pleasure out of torturing people. And I consider them sick. I consider them abnormal. It's the responsibility of all of us to put those people away so that they don't hurt us. The fact that they're getting pleasure of something is, does not excuse our sacrifice in, in keeping them around so that they can torture us. So you get rid of them. You, you, you put them in jail. It's, it, nobody would have qualms about doing that. And, and, you know, it could be a mistake. Somebody could misinterpret, like you do, that selfishness means lying, stealing, or cheating, and they could go and do it. I'm still going to put them in jail. I don't care if it's because they're bad people or because they misinterpret it. You violate somebody else's rights, you go to jail, because rights are the fundamental principle, which means no coercion. It's the fundamental principle in a social environment. Because that's the only way to protect the ability of good people to pursue their happiness, to pursue the values that they have. Yeah, but I find it strange that you think that you have the wisdom to say to from another person who really enjoys or is really... I don't care, is my okay, point. Okay, you don't care, but I find this very strange. No, but I don't care if they get the pleasure, but I also can tell I, I have the wisdom. And I have the knowledge, I'm a little older than you, and I've seen the world, and it does, it does mean a lot, actually, because experience in life means a huge amount. That's fine. You, you, I was, when I was 24, I thought exactly like you do, uh, about, about the fact that wisdom doesn't accumulate over time, but it does. Um, it doesn't matter, but at the end of the day, politically, in terms of putting him in jail, it doesn't matter whether they are happy or not. If they violate rights, they go to jail. Because my concern is with rational people. And if he is interfering in the ability of rational people to live their life by using force, he goes to jail. And, but I can also tell you, psychologically, he's a miserable, pathetic human being. Don't believe me, that's fine. I, I have no problem with that. Um, just to your last statement, I have two problems with that. The first one yes. is, um, in the case of Enron, I yes. get the management of Enron wasn't too unhappy with what they did. And well, they were very, they were, they were very unhappy, but... They are billionaires, so I don't know how, how unhappy you can be. Since when is money the, a, a, a money a measure of happiness? So let me give you an example that I know, right? and we can talk about Enron too, because I know a little bit about Enron as well. Bernie Madoff, everybody know Bernie Madoff? Bernie Madoff created a pyramid scheme. Um, he, stole, he stole this money, he became very, very wealthy. I don't know if a billionaire, but the Enron guys weren't billionaires. They were hundreds of millions. They were very rich. And um, he had this amazing pyramid scheme. He was living the good life. And he was caught, like all of them were caught, like the Enron guys were caught. Right? And he says today, in prison, happier than he's ever been. Happier than he's ever been. Happier than, much happier than he was when he was stealing the money. Why? Because when he's stealing the money, a, he had no self-esteem because he knew he was relying on deception in order to gain any kind of value, which is self-destructive. But second, he was constantly looking over his shoulder, not because he worried about the police. He was worried that his best friends would find out. 
He was worried that his family would find out. And indeed, who discovered Bernie Madoff? It wasn't the stupid regulators. Who discovered Bernie Madoff? His son, who turned him into the police. And a year after his son discovered it, he committed suicide. Even after his son committed suicide, he's still happier today in jail than he was before. He couldn't sleep because he was constantly worried about being caught. Again, not by the police, by the people he was stealing money from. He couldn't have a relationship with another human being. Why? Because he was lying. Now, I don't know how much, this is an example of age, right? I don't know how many relationships you guys have had, intimate relationships with other human beings, sexual, romantic, and non-romantic. But if you lie, that relationship will not survive, not because the other person will catch it, but because you can't look them in the eye. Because your relationship is built on a falsehood, and you know it. Now, the older you get, the more relationship you have, the more you can induce this particular truth, one way in which we gain wisdom with age. Um, but so money is not that. Even a Marxist believe that money is happiness. Money is not happiness. I, I could have, I, I've got a PhD in finance. I could have gone to Wall Street and made millions of dollars. I don't want to do that. I don't want, the money's not that important to me. I'd much rather do this. This is more fun than making money. For me, not for somebody else. We each have our own values. So I chose to be poorer, not poor, but poorer <laughs> than I otherwise would be because of my values. So it's not about money. The Enron guys, A, they were caught. They suffered en enormously. I know uh, at least two of the guys. But B, these guys were schmoozing political types. They weren't the kind of, they didn't have the, the sense that you get from a Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or, 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 you know, because they didn't create the wealth. It was all haggling, political haggling. It wasn't even business haggling.